welcome to Crafting by the Falls. My name is Natalie. For any of you that are new, welcome. And for any of you that are returning, welcome back. So today is Sunday, January 14th, which is my puppy's birthday. Tina is four years old today. Uh, so I'm recording this today to post for Thursday, January 18th. Uh, I have a busy week, so I just want to make sure that you will have a video for uh, cross stitch this week. So Mother Nature finally uh, brought us some snow last night into this morning. Uh, we, we got it, we got quite a bit, but they are predicting us to get 15 to 25 centimeters of snow by the time this is all done. So just under a foot of snow, um, we got a lot of strong winds and the temperatures are quite cool. It's minus eight, but with the wind chill, it's about minus 15. So with the wind... Yeah, it's uh, kind of bitter out there, but <laughs> can't win. Either it's been dull and you need lots of lights, or today we have sun at this moment and I had to close my blinds. What can you do? Anyways, I am going to do two Joy Sunday kits. Uh, this is from my AliExpress haul. Um, I'm pretty excited to do these reviews. I, I love both of them. And um, again, I told you it's dangerous to get these kits into the house because I want to start each and every one of these. But, you know, I'm working on my green, uh, green lake reflected color so that one's going to take me plenty of time and I like to always do up smaller ones in between and uh, again seeing these I want to start them both but I am going to pause right here and I'm going to flip the camera and uh, we'll, we'll start the review okay so here we go we have the two kits I'm going to set this one aside because this is the one I really, really like. So I'll save this one for last and we'll start with this one. So it is a Joy Sunday and always with the Joy Sunday on the back of the bag has all your instructions and what you need to do. So I'm going to flip this over and we'll see what we're going to do today. So it is a Joy Sunday pre-printed fabric. It is called the Nap Dog. It is a 14 count and it is 28 by 18. And the code is D891, the Nap Dog. Isn't he so cute? I'm just gonna open this up and uh we'll have no reflection so there we go when i seen that i thought oh my goodness he's so cute so we'll put that here i'll set this aside for now and we'll go so Again, this is a 14 count and it is 28 by 18 centimeters or it's 112 stitches wide by 71 high. So it's a very smaller kit. Uh, this has 10 full stitch. We have one French knot. We have three half stitch. And then we have one, two, three, four, five backstitch colors. So we'll flip this over and here we go. 
just one page for the pattern. So you'll see the different colors for the back stitch. And it's not a lot, but there is quite a few French knots. So if you don't know how to do them, by the time you're done this, you'll definitely know how to do French knots. They're not that bad to do. It's just learning on how to um, do it. And then once you get the hang of it, it it's, it's very simple. So there we go. I'll set this aside and I'll get the fabric. So here we go. It's fairly small. So again, all the edges are surged. Very nice. And here's our symbols. So one to 10 is full stitch. These three are half stitch. We have our French knot and then we have our back stitch colors. The symbols are very large, and if you've never done a Joy Sunday kit, the symbols on your canvas are going to be totally different to the symbols on your chart. So, they're different. So, number one is a one, and on our canvas, a one is this black circle. But once you get a hold of it, it's uh, it's it's fairly easy to do. So all all this area underneath that's going to be all half stitches, and this is a partial. So all this white area will not be stitched, and then this is just back stitch with uh, French knots. And if you if you don't want to do French knots, you can always put um, beads on instead. Or I I think even if you just uh, backstitch the words, it would look fine. Um, if you look at that, if you just take away those dots, you would still be able to read the backstitch. So never underestimate the power of a nap. So here I'll flip that over and we'll take a look at the colors it's the floss cards that I like so there we go we have number one to 14 and there we go we have our two needles so this is I, um, this was a review of the nap dog. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will pause and we will, I'll bring out the next one. So here we go with the next one. This one I've had my eye on for quite some time. Uh, I've always wanted to do this and I wanted to, I would like to make this into a pillow. Um, so we're going to flip her over. And this one is called Romance by the Sea. I'm just going to take it out of the bag so that we don't have no glare. I have always admired this picture. I have... Uh, it just reminds me of Holland. Uh, I've been to Holland several times and um, always had a bike with a ba <laughs> basket and uh, I was down by the ocean and it was just beautiful. So this just reminds me of Holland. As you can tell, I love Holland. This is just my magnet cover minder for me doing my Amsterdam canal. So anyways, we'll um little we'll go on. It is Joy Sunday pre-printed fabric and it is called Romance by the Sea 
and it is a 14 count 33 by 44 centimeters and the code is fa 121 romance by the sea so i can't wait to see the colors in this kit we'll start with the um chart very nice so we have our symbols here down to 32 and so we have 40 colors that's amazing one two three four five one two three four five backstitch colors and it is 140 wide by 200 high so there is, there is a lot of backstitching, but <laughs> sorry about that. The skidoos are out now. We got snow, right? So the boys are out playing. So <laughs> we have, um, they're pretty straightforward, straight lines. Again, when you do the backstitch, it always brings the picture to life. So it we do have a lot of color blocking. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at the fabric. Ooh. I just seen the color of the threads. Ooh, can't wait for that. So, I'm going to Oh, I thought I could pull that out a bit more. So I'll just turn it sideways so you guys can see the whole canvas in itself. As you can see, all the edges are surged. The symbols down here are big. I like it. That is the way I like it. But this canvas is so crisp on the printing i'm really impressed with it so clear i'm gonna put that down i'm gonna try to zoom up and see i'll bring it up really nice and crisp Every, all the symbols seem to be where they belong. And looking at this, I'm just going to, oh, I'll zoom back out. Sorry about that. Just looking here and here, I think, yeah, there's no stitching in it. So there is a little bit of area. Yeah, so here, here, here it. You won't have to stitch that. So that's cool. So are you ready to see the colors for this? Oh, again, I want to start this. These are my favorite cards. Um, so we'll start with there's two cards, so I'm just trying to fix this so you guys can see. So starting at one, really nice rose color, black, gray. Look at those pinks, yellow, almost like an aqua green, this one. wait until you see these ones 31 look at those aren't they awesome and there we go with our two needles this is gonna be amazing I'm just gonna flip this so you can see the colors they're really really nice 
Oh boy. Uh, I want to start it. So here we go. There's Romance by the Sea. And then the Nap Dog. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, both of these reviews. You know what to do. Got to do thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to drop a comment, comment go ahead. Um, until next time, guys, take care. Bye for now.